Welcome to the Cone Community College. My name is David Rowland. I'm an instructor here, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to install cam bearings. Today I've got a, a 400 Oldsmobile engine, and we're going to install uh, five cam bearings um, and index them properly. So here we have all the, the cam bearings and the tools that we're going to use today. Um, I've got uh, I've taken my cam bearings and I've ident identified them by the position that they're going to go in. Um, the, the, uh, the particular manufacturer of the cam bearings today is Durbon, and Durbon gives us uh, a label that comes on the box that tells us what part number and what position they go in. So I've taken the cam bearings, identified them, and I've marked them all with a, a sharp, sharpie type permanent marker so that I can easily identify them and make sure I, I get them in the right position. Uh, other manufacturers will give you small instruction sheets that come in the box it will tell you what position the certain bearings go in if they have a unique position. Some are generic and they'll, they'll have the same bearing in all positions and other ones will have specific bearings for each position. So we've got our bearings identified. Uh, we need an uh, installation tool. So here's our installation tool and it's a collet type tool. What we'll do is we will place the bearing on the end of this tool and expand it to lock it in place. And then we're going to use a hammer to drive it in place. Um, the, the cone on the tool helps center the tool up in the cam bore itself. All right, so we're going to start by taking our bearing and, and looking where the oil hole is at. And we can see where the oil hole is here. And this is going to line up with a passage that's drilled in the cam bore here. And it'll be at the 12 o'clock position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the tool into the cam bore. And put the bearing on the tool. And then I'm going to expand that collet that's going to hold that bearing. And it's got a little ledge or lip on the metal here. And this part is rubber. That's going to hold on to that bearing while we, uh, while we drive it in place. So here we go. We're going to expand the tool. Hold on to the bearing, and to help tighten the tool, I can put a, a pin punch or a driver or a small screwdriver in the tool. Now I've got it expanded. I've got my uh, oil hole at the 12 o'clock position that's going to line up with the oil passage that supplies that bearing with oil. Now back here on this end of the block, I've got a cone. And the cone allows me to keep the tool perfectly centered in the bore while I'm driving that cam bearing in, in place. Now, another thing that you're going to notice here is that I don't have this engine on an engine stand. I've got this engine on a cart that uh, is good enough to support the weight of the engine. But it also allows me to have full access from either end of the engine. Uh, and that's important because uh, when it comes to installing the last bearing on this side, the uh, one, two, three, four, number five bearing, I'm going to drive that bearing in from the other end. And uh, if I had the engines had it mounted, this block mounted on an engine stand, I wouldn't be able to work from this end. So being, doing this on a bench or doing it on a cart or a stand other than uh, an engine stand uh, is beneficial for, for installing these properly. All right, so now I've got the bearing installed on the tool, and I've got the collet in place. I'm ready to uh, drive the tool uh, and, and install the bearing. So here we go. Alright, I'm going to stop there, remove my tool, and now I'm going to check to see that my oil hole, that I, A, I've put it in far enough, and that my oil hole aligns with the oil passage. And what I've done is I've made a very simple tool out of a cotter pin. I've, I've bent one leg of the cotter pin up 90 degrees, and then I've cut it off, so now I can use that to 
to go in and probe through the oil hole to see that we've got it lined up, and we do, with the oil passage. So now when, uh, when we pressurize that oiling system, we'll be able to provide a good, a good supply, a good supply of clean oil to that new bearing. All right, so now we've got number one installed, and we're going to go ahead and, and grab number two, and then the, the same sequence throughout, and well, the only thing different here is when we do number five, we'll do it from the other end, from this direction. Now we're ready to install the number two bearing. You can see that that's number two, and there's the oil hole at 12 o'clock. We're going to bring it into the passage here, line it up, uh, center up our cone, and drive it until it's uh, in the right position. still need to go just a little further, it looks like. All right, we'll stop there and inspect to see that we uh, have good alignment. And here we are, we're going to use our cotter pin tool, and you can see that it fits right inside that oil passage. So we've got good alignment and you can actually look right down that oil passage and see the daylight. So now we know that we're not going to block any oil. We'll supply it with a good good supply of oil and it's in the right position. Okay, so we've installed uh, the bearings in number one, two, and three position and we did that from the rear of the block and now I've already installed number four and I went from the front and we're going to finish up with number five, and then we'll fit the camshaft in place to make sure that the bearings all align and that uh, everything is good. The camshaft turns freely. So uh, we've got the bearing now in on the tool. We'll tighten the tool up, line up the uh, oil hole at the 12 o'clock position, and we will install the last bearing. check for alignment using our cutter pin tool and we've got good alignment with the, uh, the oil passage so we're all set. All right at this point all we're going to do now is we're going to check the fit of the cam and then we'll install the cam plug and then we'll be done with uh, installing cam bearings. Okay so we've got the cam bearings installed and now we're going to try out fit the camshaft to make sure they're all in alignment and they're in uh, uh, good shape. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a little oil on the cam load, on the cam journals. And you'll notice that I've got a long bolt put in the snout of the camshaft. I've got the proper thread pitch and size, and that allows me uh, some leverage to help installing the camshaft. They make a lot of tools that uh, are available that will bolt to the front of the camshaft, but sometimes the simplest things are, are the best tools. So it's nothing but a long stud that uh, has got the right thread pitch. So now I'm going to carefully put the cam into the bearings and verify that it turns nice and free when, uh, when it's in place. So there you have it. That's how we install cam bearings and trial fit the cam to make sure that everything uh, is where it needs to be. Thanks for watching. Uh, David Rowland from Macomb Community College.